All right. This is one of the coolest things that I have experienced in the electronic world in quite some time. Now, hold tight here. I have a projector at my house that I've had for years. And up until just this week, I and I've looked in the past, there was no converter box to have TV, because we don't have any sort of special cable, put in um, to HDMI. But this week, I found this Xubi, if that's how you say it. I'll put a uh, link in the description. And what this does is you have an antenna. It's very thin. And it can pick up things in about a 36 mile radius it claims. It runs over to here. It's not the prettiest. Hey, check out. There's a deer right there outside my window. Not too deer. Uh, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, runs in here. Then it gets converted to HDMI. And you can either put that HDMI into a receiver like we have, or you can put it into the projector itself. Now, this is just local channels, but for me, this is a big deal because we've never had like official TV here. We've, we've always streamed or, you know, other options. So this thing's not that pretty. You know, there's, there's cords coming out three of the four sides. Um, but it's doing the job and it has, if you need to do analog, you can do the red, white, and gr yellow, and then you can do an out to another TV, I guess. Anyways, so projectors do not have coaxials and neither do receivers a lot of the time. At least mine doesn't, and I don't think a lot of them do. So now I have local TV, which is really cool. And I'll show you just what it looks like. Hang on one second. So just like uh, you had your, your own TV, it comes with a remote. This is the channel guide, info, closed captioning, which I haven't really gotten to work yet, but I'm sure it does. And what's really cool is you can put a USB um, like a dongle or well, not a dongle, um, a little USB drive in the side and you can have your own uh, DVR and record stuff and then pick it back up where you want for free, giving the user the power. So I'm going to turn it on with the remote here. Maybe I'm too close. There we go. Okay. And then... This is going to come up. Now it's daytime still here, but I figured I'd show you. The projector should be all right. It has its own operating system built into it. And so it searches for channels just like a, uh, just like a normal TV would do. And now, boom, got TV from local channels. We live in Columbus. And we get a number of channels here. But what's really cool is, as you can see, it shows you the TV guide like days or a day at a time. So you can do, you can find out what's going on the rest of uh, the night and into tomorrow as well. See? And so... That's really neat to me, because a lot of DTV TVs don't even offer that extensive of uh, of programming. Um, from a from a interesting standpoint, in the menu, if you pull it up, you got program where you would uh, assign. Uh, I guess that's not where you assign stuff. But you can do games. They have games built into the operating system. Which is kind of funny. Tetris, Boxman, Snakes, Gobang, Reversi, and Jigsaw. So, like, actually playing Tetris. 
rotate. Oh. You you get the idea. Um, so, I mean, if your kids like that, I don't see myself playing. But what an interesting thing to have included. Then we got picture. So it says it does up to 4K quality if any local channels display in 4K. We just have 1080p on this projector anyways. Uh, I haven't adjusted the wide screen or aspect ratio. And then if we keep going, channel search, um, it just automatically does it like a regular TV. The time, it figured it out on its own. I don't know how. It's not connected to the internet. But you can you can put um, an update using the USB drive that you would put on it. So, yeah, it's really neat. I guess you can set parental controls. And then this is where you would access your multimedia that you would record, which is neat. So again, like we have like 30 or so channels. Some of them don't work, but I could also put the I could also put the receipt or the antenna in a better place. But I just it's crazy. I've I'm really impressed with it. And I don't tend to get super excited about you know, this is kind of simple technology, but man, is it nuts. So I will put a link in the description. If you've used something like this, comment, and I'd love to hear what you use since we don't want fancy cable. We're not paying for that. And, yeah, this is just super impressive. Also, uh, volume is built in, so you can turn it up. So, anyways, look, Ohio State lost. We're losers. That's it, everyone. Uh, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Peace out.